According to the Global Financial Integrity, the latest in a series of reports that it issued on a roughly annual basis provides country-level estimates of the illicit financial flows of money into and out of 148 developing countries and emerging markets nations as a result of their trade in goods with advanced economies as classified by the International Monetary Fund. Financial analyst Joe Jackson believes if measures are not put in place, illicit financial flows, especially in the ports of entry, will continue. challenges we have is uh, the fact that all our systems work in silos. So I go to customs, I have a different set of systems. I go to GRE, I have a system, different set of systems, and there's no integration or cross-referencing. So I can go and say one thing at GRE, say another thing to customs, say a very different thing to my bank, right? The earlier these systems are integrated, and brought together, the harder it is, it will be to, uh, to, to avoid the taxes and the loss of revenue from these illicit flows. It's that simple. We must integrate our systems and stop having them operating in silos. He says a synergized system of operations at the country's trading ports is a sure way to dealing with trade misinvoicing at the ports still huge loopholes that you can run through i mean we what i go in, I, I i i bring in 10 think about it i bring in 10 containers of 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 goods through the port every month and when gre comes i declare five immediately gre should be able to go to the port and come and tell them sorry guys this guy brought in 10. in 2016 ghana lost 758 million dollars in import over invoicing $722 million to import under invoicing and $117 million to export over invoicing. Some $1.6 billion was lost to export under invoicing.